Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? It's a dream come true. We have finally secured an insurance population of the broadtooth rat. To me, when I look at it, I see a little pygmy wombat. You know what, I really, really like that because look at it, you know, so quiet, doesn't bite, real timid and shy, and they deserve so much more than the connotations that people get of a, it's a rat. It's not. Hey, look at her. You can't even see her feet. This incredibly cute native rodent lives in high altitude swamps, including the Barrington Tops. These ecosystems are ancient, primordial. Some trees and plants date back to the age of the dinosaurs. The broadtooth rat is perfectly adapted to living in this damp, cold, mossy world. It has a shy, sweet temperament, much more like a guinea pig than a rat. In the wild, it only lives for two years and reproduces just once in a year. For the rest of the time, it ekes out a living, hiding in mossy burrows and eating grass seeds. It is now classified as critically endangered. Its swampland homes are being trampled by feral horses, uprooted by feral pigs, and feral foxes and cats hunt them down as easy snacks. For years, Aussie Ark has been on a mission to save this exquisite animal from extinction. And this winter, we finally got our chance. Over three weeks, we set over 3,000 traps in four swamps in the Barrington Tops. Aussie Ark Managing Director Tim Faulkner led our team on the ground. You can already feel someone at home in there. Just have a quick look. Okay, looks like a broadie. Okay, got him. It's a broadie. So the first thing I look at is the ear tuft. The others simply don't have that yellow on top, white on bottom. Okay, so on the feet, they have individual little pads. And this one is an oval rather than elongate like other species. That's a little female. Hello. It's so good to see. We couldn't keep adults because their lifespan is too short. We needed to keep only juveniles to maximise future breeding opportunities within their lifespan. It's another female. And the best thing about this little girl is that uh, her teats were active and that's just great because that means that there's been reproductive events. So it's the juveniles that I'm after. So a female like this that's bred, she needs to go right back home. So we can do that now and send her on her way. Hey, look at that. <laughs> How good is that? For me, that's the, the meaning of life. Despite all our efforts, we only trapped 12 broadtooth rats. It's a tragic indication of how much trouble they are truly in. There should be thousands here. Oh, we've got someone. Of those 12, we carefully selected just six viable juveniles to start our insurance population. Oh, this looks good. I'm confident it's a broadie. This little one has the potential to come home and be a founder in the insurance population because it's the right size. And these are so precious that the worst thing now would be that it gets away in all the excitement to get a juvenile. It's just so, so difficult. Look how small. And it looks like a little girl. Now, I've been lucky enough to handle maybe 15 broadies in all of my time. And to find females is just incredibly rare. And let's hope in 30, 50, 100 years time, we look back on her and think, well, what a great moment that was that she was one of the founders that saved the species.
We hoped to secure eight juveniles but didn't trap enough. In the end we felt very lucky and very relieved to bring three females and three males back to Conservation Ark to start our breeding program. Pails? Hey. There she is. Yeah. Little one. She's beautiful. Number six. Yeah, number six. It's too cold for me here. See ya. This is the world's first ever captive breeding program for the broad tooth rat. In our conservation art facility, we have custom built enclosures that cater for them in every way, from a refrigerated temperature through to specialized food. In spring, we'll assess the six of them and pair them up for breeding. If we're successful, we will see our very first babies born in the summer of 2025. Hi buddy, how are you? We want to thank all of our sponsors, partners, donors and supporters for coming on this journey with us. We seriously could not have done this without you. Long live the Broadtooth Rat. We love you. If you'd like to support the Broadtooth Rat project, go to aussiear.org.au and donate today.